Hey guys, it's a geeky chick here with a Dragon Mania Legends video. Today I'm going to be telling you guys how to get the Dragon of the Month. I'm pretty excited, which I say in a lot of videos, but I have the Dragon of the Month. It's breeding, so you know, I still have to wait until, um, what is like a day and 14 hours until it's ready, but I'm still really excited that I got it and it is only the second of the month. Last month, to be honest, I didn't even get it, but I did stop trying because there were a lot of other dragons that I wanted to go for. But I, I mean, I just didn't have the same luck that I did this time, so I'm, I'm pretty excited. So let's talk about the dragon of the month. The dragon of the month is Autumn. And by the way, the dragon of the week is really, really cute. I'm hoping to go and try to get that now that I got the dragon of the month. But how to breed Autumn, you need fire, earth, plant, and water. So as you can see, I used the earth dragon and the cherry blossom dragon. Uh, we'll talk about that, but first I just wanna show you the, the best breeding options and then we'll talk about what I did and other things. Okay, so here we are on mobga.me. This is like my, my favorite resource besides the wiki, but for breeding calculator, it is my, my favorite. All right, so the best way to go about this is using a single element dragon and then like an epic dragon that has the other three elements. The perfect combination would be a fire dragon because that has the lowest breed time. And I've said this before, but when you use a single element dragon, that is guaranteeing that uh, whatever you breed has to have the single element from the single element dragon. So every dragon you will breed will be a fire dragon. So you would have the lowest breed times possible. There are only two dragons that this can work with and that is fire and kitsune. And you can get the kitsune in the submarine dungeon shop using dungeon tokens or if you are lucky enough to get it in the chest. And remember, like I said, if you get to the chest, use the gems and open up all three. You're not guaranteed, but it's the best route to take. And then the other option is fire and cottontail. Now the cottontail is an event only dragon so far. We haven't been able to breed it and I missed out on cottontail. It was before I figured out how to do these solo tier events. So I didn't have the kitsune or the cottontail. So the next option would be going to do earth as your single element. I started out doing earth and agave. I did that about three times. And then when my cherry blossom was hatched, I leveled that up and I got it first time trying earth and cherry blossom. It's probably just luck. I, I, am, I don't see anywhere. I see they even have that on here. Let's see. I don't even see it on here on the list. I don't even see cherry blossom on this for the breeding calculator, but it did work. I'm not, I don't know if you'll get it first time try out trying it using your cherry blossom, but it is. So, all right, so you would do it with, so you would do agave and earth or liquid fire and earth or cherry blossom and earth. I believe those are the three. Right, and then, you know, so on, you know, and then you just keep going. The next um, element would be water. And then, so you would have water and orange, water and maple leaf. I don't, I think maple leaf was an event only dragon. And, oh yeah, earth and red flower is another one of the earth options. So, and then these, once you start getting onto these, you're doing, you know, multiple element dragons with each other so your chances go down and you get all kinds of crazy breed times but if those are your only options go ahead you know you got to use what you got to use all right so here just for an example here is cherry blossom bread with earth and look at these are the only these are the only options that i could come up with so tree snow salamander Orange, orange was the highest brie time that I would get. Then there's mud, lava, and elemental. Elemental's another high one, but orange is the highest. So you have two in somewhat high breeding times, and then the other ones are uh, under four hours. 
or five hours with VIP time. And then there was autumn. But so, I mean, when you look at, there was few options with autumn being the longest one. Pretty good deal. All right, guys, hopefully these tips help you get it. We still have all month to get the dragon of the month. So don't freak out if you haven't gotten them. Just keep on trying. And I wish you guys all luck. As you can see, I did finish the event. Well, as you can see, there's only a day left. So I would say go back and check out the video, but it's kind of late to just get started on this. But definitely check out the video and just use it for tips for the next time they do one of these solo tier events. I get comments in uh, on my videos whenever I do these and I see comments like in the forums and stuff. People feel like this is they're hard. I used to think that at first, but once you like really get the concept, all it is is really um, dedication of time of constantly checking in and doing the collections and keeping track. And I would do maybe if it's every hour, every couple hours, and you usually have a lot of time spared. Like I finished this, not was it last night or the night before? So I had a few days and I think my friend finished about 12 hours before me. So you usually can finish these with two, three days to spare. And so you can keep that in mind with pacing yourself, but the time is definitely enough time to get these done. And they usually get some fun dragons. So don't, don't sleep on these events, guys. Make sure you're participating. All right, guys, and just an update on Kronos. We need just one more little shard, and we will finally unlock Kronos. I cannot wait to do that video. I want to unlock him. <laughs> it's been, like, how many updates since he came out. So, um, wish me luck on that. And if do any of you guys have him unlocked? Let me know in the comment section, and has he been of use? As always, guys, don't forget to check out my Facebook and Twitter page. Links are on the screen, but they'll also be in the description. I will see you guys next time.